Hi, I'm Luke and in this video I'm going to take you through the Vext voicemail setup process. Step 1 is to enter our mobile number and select our mobile service provider. The reason we need to tell Vex who our mobile service provider is, is because they have different rules on who can use conditional call forwarding, and we'll come back to that later. Step two is to verify our phone number. The reason this is important is because otherwise you'd be able to access anyone's voicemail and no one wants that. Once we've verified our phone number, we're going to select our occupation and industry. So for me, that's business owner and my industry is telecommunications. Cool. Now the final step is to turn Vext on. Now the way Vext works and the way your voicemail works with your traditional mobile service provider is that your missed calls get forwarded to one answering machine. Now, if you're with, say, AT&T in the US or Spark in New Zealand, um, your missed calls get forwarded to their uh, uh, answering machines. Now, when you set up VEX, you've got to forward your missed calls to ours. So we'll turn VEX on. Now, here it's asking us to call this odd-looking number called an MMI code, and I talk about that in another video, which you can click on here and go and watch. Once we've called that number, if everything works correctly, we'll see something like this on iOS, where it will say, setting activation succeeded. But if you're using an Android device, you'll get a slightly different message. Awesome, and that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to hit subscribe, like, and head on over to our channel for heaps more.